Hey everybody, there are a lot of advantages we found to the A-Liner LXE for our type of camping, but there's one area where the A-Liner LXE seriously falls short, and that is in the area of the dinette. It's almost like there isn't one. Now before I really get into it, I thought I'd mention this video is mainly aimed at LXE owners who've been struggling with their dinette situation. But I'm also going to talk about how to make a folding table using hinges you can buy on Amazon for wood table legs and how those are working for us. And I'm also going to show you how to make a stain that will match the interior woodwork in your newer A-liner. It's kind of a brown purple stain. So you can skip forward to those sections if you're not an A-liner LXE owner. For example, we really love the fact that you can convert the A-Liner LXE to have a king-size bed. We also love the fact that it has a shower and a toilet in that cabinet on the right, and it also has a big dormer, which offers all kinds of places to hang things, and extra headroom. And you can order it with the second dormer in the back. But here's what you're given for a dinette. This cabinet by the door, that cabinet by the refrigerator. And then you have the bed right next to that. I don't know if any of the rest of you have this issue, but we have very heavy bedroll, and it's just a gigantic hassle trying to clean that all up and roll it all up just to eat every meal. And it's too hard to slide the plywood, this plywood piece that slides back onto the sofa, it's just very, very difficult to slide that under there, move the cushion and everything. It's, I don't know, for us, it's, it's a very dysfunctional situation. Everyone's camping situation is so different, and if we didn't have this big bed roll, yes, we could have used the original A-liner provided dining table, probably okay. It was heavy, um, but it, we probably could have just put the bed away and, and set up the table at every meal. We love to go boondocking in the cold, in the fall, when it, at high al higher altitude locations in the forest where it is cold at night. And so we really enjoy our big fat bedroll. <laughs> we've tried over the years, my husband and I have done car camping and backpacking, and we've tried down sleeping bags, which would be more compact um, we could put them in a stuff sack every day and fold it all up. Um, one thing we like to do, though, on our camping trips, and we're seniors, we're kind of seniors, you know, we like to take an afternoon nap occasionally. And so the thought of putting the bed away, taking it out again, and then there are times when we're just tired and we might want to take a nap at the oddest moments. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's, for us, having a a car camping, uh, hunting level bedspread and sleeping bags has, has been just fantastic. We, we're not big fans of mummy bags. They just are so confining to us. We love having a big roomy <laughs> bed to sleep in and move around. We have lots of aches and pains. So those of you who are younger though, um, you could probably get away and, and be perfectly happy with a nice down sleeping bag or two. We love, that's one of the things we really enjoy about trailer camping. We've got this really comfortable bed compared to when we would car camp with a tent, putting the tent on the ground with a pad, and or we had cots at one point, those were much more comfortable, but still uh, kind of hard to to live with. So this is great, and that, that's, that's why we got this particular trailer. If you're at an RV park, you don't need this. You absolutely don't need this kind of a, a bedroll. Um, but for us, boondocking and trying to conserve energy, we, we really do enjoy having all this bedding. And um, the idea of running the RV heater all night with the noise and using the propane in the fan and how hot it would be in here, um, we're just thinking that that's a waste of propane, and we don't want to have to refill propane very often. A lot of the places where we go camping, there just isn't a place to get propane very close by. It's maybe a two-hour drive or something to a propane refill station. So um, we try to conserve our propane for as long as possible. 
our Aliner LXE came with a particle board table with two very heavy folding table legs on it that was, I believe, the same exact size as the table in the A-Liner Classic. Here's a shot of the underside of our dinette table that we were given by A-Liner sitting in our garage. Each of the bench seats measures 20 inches across, but the table we were given is 33 inches across. And to further complicate matters, right next to one of the bench seats is the refrigerator. And a lot of times when you're eating or sitting down, uh, suddenly you remember, oh, I forgot to get the ketchup out of the refrigerator. You need to open the door, and the table we were given was blocking the refrigerator door. There's no way we could open it. We had to pick up the whole table and move it all over the place to get into the refrigerator. One of the reasons that the table originally was blocking the refrigerator door was the placement of the legs. This is after I've taken the legs off the tabletop. This is where they were out here. The original table legs were attached right here, and I'm sorry I'm shooting this video after I've modified the table, but this created basically a base around 30 inches wide from side to side, which is much wider than the 20 inch bench seats. And so the table leg was in front of the refrigerator door. Now those of you who have visited the A-Liner website may be asking, well, you're not thinking about this the right way. Why don't you just lay out the table lengthwise like it shows on the website in the floor plan for the trailer? Well, in reality, the table shown on this diagram is nowhere close to that size. It's much bigger. Here the blue lines show you how large the table really would be if you laid it out the way A-Liner has shown it on their website. Both people would end up kicking the legs on either end of the table. I spent many hours online looking for a substitute folding table, and I had a lot of things I sort of hoped to accomplish with that. Number one, be able to open the refrigerator door when we're sitting down if we forgot something. Number two, we didn't want to be kicking it a lot with our legs because in this confined space, let's say we have a beer or a glass of wine or a bowl of soup and you kick the table, it's just going to go flying all over inside and then you have a lot of work to clean up. <laughs> so uh, we wanted to have plenty of room for our legs to go in and out, which the original table did answer that problem. It had basically a trestle table design metal legs um, so your feet you know each person could slide in on either side and of course there are a lot of different ways to skin a cat with a problem like this another criteria of course for this small trailer is that it has to be able to collapse and fold down when we're on the road we can't leave the table up we have to put up the bed it just it has to be a folding solution of some sort um, I looked and looked online another idea was the the types of tables they have in the tab um, teardrop trailers, which are these beautiful pivoting metal arm items that you can actually make with pipes. And I found a video by a fellow that shows how to make that, and I'll, I'll put that link in the description to my video. The problem with that one to me was I wasn't sure how strong, basically you have to attach this arm to a cabinet in, in your RV or, or van, and it has to be strong enough to support the weight. And also, I wasn't sure if we could get a big enough table on that type of a structure so that we could both eat comfortably and put all our stuff on the table. I also considered getting a knockdown party pedestal table, and they had these on Amazon. They were a little bit more money. They were around, I think, $70 for a decent one, and I wasn't sure. It looked like you could disassemble them, so there'd be a center post and the table top, and then there'd be the base, and that would have possibly worked. The only thing is we, to get the most bang for the buck, we really kind of wanted a square or oblong shape so we could fit more things on there. I just decided that for the money and uncertainty about that solution, I decided to just make a table. But if any of you come up with a better solution than this one that I'm going to show you, I would like to hear about it. And if, in fact, if you want to give me a suggestion to make this one better, let me know. But this is the solution that I came up with. And here's the finished design. 
you can see it's about the same height as the refrigerator counter. Let me show you as I assemble it though. This is separate. This was on the existing table that we were given by A-Liner. I never took it off. These hinges are folding hinges. Three wing nuts. And three washers. Okay, minute and five seconds. It took me a minute and five seconds to put it together. So the bolt heads do come through the tabletop. And the reason for that is that this is a very thin material. Um, but if someone has a suggestion on how you could glue it on the back, uh, glue something on the back that we could have screwed into or something, um, that's a possibility if, if it would have stayed on there. I just wasn't sure if it would really stay on on the road uh, with all the vibration. As you can see the underside of the tables provided by A-Liner are coated with a paper and the paper peels off so this is one of the reasons I decided to bolt all the way through the tabletop. And there you have it all set for dinner. These are a little bit in the way but the important thing is there's room for the plate. The plate isn't on top of these these bolts. It is so nice to be able to get into the refrigerator when we need to. Pull up on that. Voila! It swings under the table and it doesn't hit the leg. Victory! Yes, this table is a little bit wobbly. You have to be careful. But the other benefit is that if you measure the distance between the legs just right, you can make it so that someone can sit at, at this chair and work at this table and pull it closer to them. And the leg, the bottom of the leg just slides past this wood cabinet, um, allowing one person at least to work at this table. So putting down the hinges is, t is a tiny bit tricky. This is my only negative comment about these heavy duty hinges. You push this down really hard. You pull your wood forward and then when you get to this point you have to lift these again so they don't stick. Push this down, pull it forward, lift these, and you tie this down so it's not banging around. It's You can see it's supported by this piece of wood here. And I time taking it apart to be a minute and 15 seconds. So. Once in a while I get lucky with those wing nets and other times not. So why did I make it with a removable table leg? Well, just to illustrate the problem. In storage, in the A-liner, you want your table to be the most compact uh, footprint possible. Now right now this is 30, 33. Basically, if this table leg were to fold this direction, that's, that's how much longer this entire assembly would be. It would be 54 inches long. And if you put both legs, put both legs folding at each other, toward each other, you can see they're just going to hit unless one is off center and the other's off center. And that, of course, doesn't work because then the table isn't balanced in the middle. When you're storing this, you need to cover this up or face it away from the outside wall of the trailer so it doesn't accidentally punch a hole. For this project, the parts you'll need will be some 1x3 lumber, 1x4 lumber, uh, various you know screws. Um, you'll need three, three bolts with wing nuts and washers, unless you can suggest a better a better uh, attachment method and you will most importantly need a tabletop hinge. You'll need four folding hinges for wooden table legs and I'll put a link to those on Amazon. They cost around $20 for the four and these were the more heavy-duty uh, version. Also as to staining the wood, 
I made the mistake, and I do not recommend, using the inexpensive pine wood that you can find at a home improvement store like Home Depot. It's almost like drilling through paper, so I highly recommend using poplar instead of the pine. This piece here, I had to go back and remake it out of poplar because I, I messed up on the drilling. It's a little bit of a different color, so the issue is, you know, if any of you have done any staining, um, the color of the wood affects this, the outcome of the stain. I'll give you the formula for this stain that I used, and it's actually really nice to have some kind of a touch-up stain for the inside of the A-liner. We've got scratches where we've banged things into the walls, and uh, this, this stain really blends in pretty nicely, I think. And here are my tips for making that stain for the A-liner. I used a plastic spoon, and I mixed in a plastic cup with a stick and I put two parts of antique walnut, two parts of black, and these are the General Finishes gel stains, and then I put one scoop of white house paint. Um, now this may not work for you perfectly, and I always think it's a good idea to mix and try it out on a piece of wood and take it out to your A-liner, see how it looks. It might, it will definitely will not look exactly the same <laughs> as what's out there, but you just want to get in the ballpark. And also with these, they dry pretty quickly, so you don't want to leave it sitting in the cup uncovered for very long at all. They really do skin over pretty quickly, and you need to maybe practice with it a little bit. They're, they're not very watery, they're very thick which is, you know, that's a nice thing. There's lots of pigment in there, so they're, they're pretty good, good stains. And if you don't like the results, let's say it turns out looking too black or gray from the black or too brown from the antique wallet, you can always just add a tiny bit more of the other one and see if it looks more to your liking. So thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any suggestions on other fasteners I could have been using for this table. 